dear students i shall continue the problems on separation of variables in the previous discussion uh, we had taken all the preliminaries which were uh, defined to be the differential equation meaning order of the differential equation degree of the differential equation and what is the meaning of grouping the variables for uh, applying the method of separation of variables i shall continue few examples on this method to make the concept uh, perfect now this is one yet another example solve but it is slightly different type problem 1 plus x cube dy <coughs> minus x square into y that is dx and uh, uh, that is 1 plus 1 plus x cube into dy minus x square y into dx is equal to 0 but the condition is given that is y is equal to 2 at uh, x equal to that is plus 1. So, with this uh, how we have to take uh, the separation of variables as grouping of x in one side and grouping of y in another side. <coughs> it is very important that group x terms in first position along with dx, group y terms in second position along with dy and then arbitrary constant will be there. These conditions in some problems they will give you that is called initial condition. In the previous problem you have seen that uh, the constant of integration was arbitrary but in this problem it is not going to become as arbitrary constant it will be a particular constant particular constant means that arbitrary constant takes the particular value then we say that it is a particular constant and the solution obviously is called as particular solution but earlier one it was not the particular solution it is a general solution <coughs> when any solution uh, uh, includes the arbitrary constant that is called uh, <coughs> general solution or uh, with arbitrary constant. But any solution which is the calculated value of uh, arbitrary constant using the given condition, <coughs> then we will choose that as particular solution. <coughs> now, let us see how this uh, problem behaves for the rearrangement according to method of separation of variables. Okay. Given that 1 plus x cube 1 plus x cube <coughs> dy minus x square y it is dx equal to 0. Do not get confusions most of the times so, so sometimes they will write dx first and dy next sometimes they will write dy first and then dy dx next. So then according to the given statement of the problem according to the given format of the problem you accept as it is and then you go for rearrangement. Okay. Here dy this is multiplied by 1 plus x cube dx which is multiplied by y according to separation of variables means grouping the terms. Therefore, we do not want this term here that means dividing throughout by we do not want the term to be multiplied for dy in terms of x we do not want the term of y multiplied to dx therefore, both we have to remove. Therefore, y into 1 plus it is x cube. After the division is over, how we are going to expect this step here? That should be dy divided by y and minus x square by 1 plus x cube okay? and then dx is equal to 0. Check this calculation that means uh, rearrangement I can say. here this term is not required according to method of separation of variables which is uh, uh, the derivative as dy and this term includes y but here the derivative we have as x okay that is dx <coughs> then we have to uh, make coefficients of dy in terms of y only make coefficients of dx in terms of x only so now this is completely free from y and this is completely free from x so, now we have to do the integration. There are only two major steps here, uh, maybe according to this problem, three steps. Two steps in general, three steps when condition is given. That means, two steps means rearrangement according to separation of variables, one step, and integration. These two are the very, very important uh, main steps where we can proceed. Okay. So, now uh, we have to write the solution, that means, integrating each term 
integrating each term that is dy by y <coughs> minus that is integration x square divided by 1 plus x cube right it is dx is equal to integration of 0 that is integration of 0 is equal to constant <coughs> that is equal to c. Now what is dy by y integration? This should be log of y minus here the differentiation this is also coming to be log because differentiation of x cube is 3x square okay. Otherwise you can take 1 plus x cube is equal to t then 3x square right. Uh, 3 x square is equal to 3 x square dx is equal to dt. Like this also you can choose or directly also you can write because x cube differentiation is 3 x square 3 is not there. Therefore, 1 by 3 log of 1 plus x cube that is dx means uh, after the integration and right side is that is equal to c. <coughs> now, what is the simplification log y minus 1 by 3 log of 1 plus x cube that is equal to c. This is almost final step where you can write this one as solution. That means we have two terms as a result after the integration. First is taken the integration with respect to y and second is taken with respect to x. Now, we will have to make use this in order to find out what the particular value of this constant. Okay. So, log y is equal to this one means at y is equal to 2 and x equal to 1. What is the value of c? We will verify. At y is equal to 2 and x equal to 1, then log 2 minus 1 by 3 and uh, y is equal to 2 and x equal to 1 log of that is 1 plus uh, that is 1 means 1 cube you can write that is c. Therefore, log 2 right plus of that is log of 1 plus 1 that is whole to the power minus 1 by 3 <coughs> that is equal to c. That means this is the uh, this is written with the formula uh, m log n form m log n that means log equal to log n to the power m. So in the reverse uh, direction you can think of uh, whatever I have taken as minus of 1 by 3 that is kept in the power of this log 2 then log 2 log 2 plus log 2 okay log 2 whole to the power that is <coughs> minus 1 by 3 this is equal to constant so c is equal to this value actually but to remove the log we will use another method of simplification to remove the log now this is in terms of log for the value of constant but normally we don't keep the answer with the log value Therefore, log 2 this step if you take for another uh, method of rearrangement log of 2 and this is minus 1 by 3 okay. log of 2 uh, divided by log m by n that means divided by 1 plus 1 that means log 2 2 to the power minus 1 by 3 right 2 to the power minus uh, sorry 2 to the power plus 1 by 3 because minus sign I kept it in the denominator then 2 to the power 1 by 3 and it is equal to c. Therefore, if you rise on both sides with exponential then e to the power c is equal to <coughs> e to the power log is only this much 2 divided by 2 to the power 1 by 3 that is nothing but e to the power c is equal to 2 to the power 1 minus 1 by 3. 2 to the power 1 minus 1 by 3 means 2 to the power it is 2 by 3. This is e to the power c. So, this is your final value of the constant. 
in whichever the way you start your uh, method of uh, selection that means method of grouping the terms and later <coughs> later you can rearrange according to the logarithm formula otherwise indices formula and whichever the formula is going to help you according to that uh, you can write the solution. Now, we will move on to another uh, type of problem. This is second variety which I have shown and another uh, variety of the problem I will show. Solve x into y square plus x into dx plus of x square y plus y it is dy equal to 0. This is without condition. That means earlier problem condition was given where you need to calculate the value of the constant in particular. But here without condition means you will sol your solution will be in terms of arbitrary constant. Okay. In the solution let Okay. In both the brackets, the symbol is common. Which symbol is common? You take that outside because now it is in the product form. That is x is there, y is there. That means from this product, here x is there means easily you can take out x. Let x into y square plus 1, it is dx and plus of here y you can take outside. That should be x square plus 1, it is dy equal to 0. Now, it is in the ready form to solve uh, that is uh, uh, easily you can apply the meaning of uh, separation of variables uh, because it is in the product form and not in the distributed form. Distributed form we reduce to the product form right. Then uh, it will be convenient uh, where you can remove y from x group and x from y group. We will do that. Now, so, dividing throughout, here we do not want y square plus 1, you remove that. This is one bracket. Here we do not want x square plus 1, you also write that, x square plus 1. Therefore, x divided by x square plus 1, it is dx plus of y divided by, it is y square plus 1, this should be, it is dy equal to 0. This is your clear differential equation according to method of separation of variables. Now, the next step is how to integrate and then how to write the solution. <coughs> this is completely containing the terms of x and this is completely containing the terms of y. This is in the separated variable form. Separated variable form means we have grouped x terms separately and y terms separately accordingly. The step is ready for the integration. Now, we will do that integrating every term, integrating <coughs> every term we have. So, integral symbol you put it x divided by x square plus 1 dx plus integration y divided by y square plus 1, it is dy is equal to directly I am writing integration of 0 is constant. Okay. So, what is the integration of the first term? This can be written as 1 by 2 log of x square plus 1, right? And this is plus of 1 by 2 log of y square plus 1 and this is equal to constant. Now, 1 by 2 is common from the LHS first term and LHS second term. What you can write? Then uh, multiply by 2. That means log of x square plus 1 plus log of y square plus 1 <coughs> is equal to 2 times of c. This is equal to something like arbitrary constant because c is already the arbitrary constant and multiplied by 2 times means it is again a constant. Then what is this? Uh, this is log log of x square plus 1 and log of y square plus 1. Anyway, it is a product. 
what is that formula log m plus log n is equal to log of m n log of product m into n is equal to log m plus log n. <coughs> then this uh, left side term log of this is x square plus 1 into y square plus 1 is equal to is equal to what? That is capital A. Capital A is the constant. Then <coughs> this is a log. Then you will take uh, x square plus 1 into y square plus 1 is equal to uh, log of a that means e to the power this one e to the power then e to the power log is this much and e to the power a this is equal to something like a1 this is your final solution. Here the condition is not given if the condition is given this value of a1 also you would have calculated. So, this is a product of similar type of uh, terms with the variables we have solved. So, now I will give another variety of the problem. It is like this. <coughs> Solve 3x plus 2y plus 4 whole square is equal to dy by dx. This is a special variety of the problem where uh, suddenly it does not look uh, or support in order to apply the concept of method of separation of variables because it is not in the product form. It is sum and difference that means 3x plus 2y plus 4 whole square is there and this has to be released uh, from this uh, summation of these three terms because it is not giving us the comfortable rearrangement because it is not appeared as product. So, in this special cases just like A x plus B y plus C form equation of straight line, then we will put this uh, into some other variable and then any one of these two we will replace in the solution. Here 3 x plus 2 y plus 4 whole square is equal to d y by d x. Here what I will suggest is put 3x plus 2y plus 4 is equal to t. <coughs> then differentiate every term, differentiate every term according to the symbol which is appearing in that respective position. What is that? Now I will write that word differentiating. We get 3 into dx plus 2 into dy plus 0 is equal to dt. <coughs> now, we have the option 3 dx plus 2 dy is equal to it is dt. That means total number of variables are how many? Now, in our present uh, uh, simplified step there are 3, but in the given problem there were only 2, but now we have 3 symbols. Which are those symbols? x is one symbol, y is another symbol and then t is third symbol. Uh, t is chosen as a new variable, right? Then any one of these two, either dx we have to eliminate or you have to eliminate dy. Uh, then you can express in terms of dt and dx, suppose you want to eliminate dy. Suppose you want to eliminate dx, then you can express dt and dy, okay? So, what happens in the next step? Then we are going to separate the value of uh, dy, okay, value of dy by putting its calculated value and also the bracketed quantity, this one, with the value uh, new symbol as t, okay. What is that? <coughs> uh, this step I can take it as equation 1, then in 1 I can tell you these substitutions are to be taken up. What is this value? It is t square one term in place of dy. For example, here in place of dy is equal to what value? dt minus 3 dx and divided by it is 2. That means we are aiming to eliminate <coughs> y and its derivative. 
y and its derivative means y and dy. So, dy in terms of dt and dx and here total value we are replacing by t therefore t square in the numerator dy dy it is dt minus 3 times dx divided by it is 2 right and denominator dx as it is this much. So, now the problem which was not comfortable to apply the separation of variables, now we made it convenient to apply the separation of variables. Now, it is in the product form and easily you can separate uh, uh, the t terms in one side and uh, x terms in another side, then immediately you can take the integration. So, what is the further rearrangement? This is t is there, okay? then dt is there. So, dt we have to keep here only and dx we have to bring it to other side, but you can write the separated uh, simplification that is dt and divided by <coughs> dt divided by 2 times dx minus 3 divided by 2 dx divided by it is dx. This cancels, this is equal to dt by dx this is 1 by 2 and this minus 3 by 2 remains after cancelling this, but in the left side it is t square. <coughs> now, this takes t square, this becomes plus sign, it is 3 by 2, that is 1 by 2, it is dt divided by dx. You can take this 2 to be cross multiplied, 2 into t square plus 3 by 2 should be equal to dt divided by it is dx, dt divided by dx. So, now dx uh, takes no coefficient in terms of x, but dt takes this much value. So, that what I will do 2 into dx here, dx I will bring it here because this cannot be kept in the denominator itself. Then uh, this value to be taken as 1 divided by it is t square plus 3 by 2 <coughs> and then it is dt. Now, this step is ready for the integration. That means, if you compare with the previous 2, 3 examples, grouping x terms in one side and y terms in another side. In place of y, we have t because we have taken this total value which was not possible to separate, but now we made it convenient to separate. Now, <coughs> this is 2 into dx and this is t square plus 3 by 2, fine. Now, what, what is the integration of this? Therefore, integrating, you can write every term to be integrated, that is 2, you can keep this constant outside dx and uh, equal to integration. 1 divided by it is t square plus of this is just like uh, t square plus a square that means x square plus a square for tan inverse. Okay, I am going to arrange according to tan inverse. See what I will take as root 3 by 2 whole square. I will write as it is the fraction then it is dt and plus constant. This is what the value. What is the next step? Integration 2x. Okay this is equal to 1 by a, what is the formula? dx divided by x square plus a square 1 by a, it is tan inverse should be x by a, 1 by a into tan inverse x by a, fine. What is the answer according to this? a is root of uh, square root of 3 by 2, okay? 1 divided by square root of it is 3 by 2 tan inverse x by a that means t divided by it is root of <coughs> 3 by 2 plus constant. This is your final answer, but one more step you have to show because what is the value of t because your uh, variable given is not in terms of t, it is in terms of x and y. What is that uh, quantity we have selected? 3x plus 2y plus 4 summation is equal to 
t we have taken. Now, this is 2x, right, is equal to root 2 by root 3, then tan inverse, tan inverse, in place of t put this value, 3x plus 2y plus 4 whole divided by, that is, what is this, tan inverse, okay, t and whole divided by, that is square root of 3 by 2, this is the value, square root of root 3 by 2 and it is plus constant. This is a bit important example, I can say in a group of uh, uh, problems which you are, where you are going to understand on the application of uh, separation of variables, this is one such uh, situation. Now, I shall give another uh, variety of the problem, one more uh, variety, still we have to go for that uh, application of uh, <coughs> separation of variables, one more problem I will write. Example, uh, like this you can uh, solve the problems, but one last problem let me discuss with you, this is nothing but <coughs> dy by dx. Sometimes they give like this also, dy by dx is equal to x into 2 log x and plus of 1 divided by sin y, sin y plus y into cos y, sin y into y into cos y. Maybe the repetition of such problems you can understand. Uh, by looking to the terms of x in which form they appear and terms of y in which form they appear. Now, here one is log function, another is poly, uh, simple uh, variable term, another is trigonometric function and uh, product of variable and then trigonometric function. So, but fortunately uh, numerator is completely free from y and denominator is completely free from x. It is just like already it is in the uh, separated variable form, okay. I will go for the solution of this kind, then dy by dx is equal to x into 2 log x plus 1 divided by sin y plus y cos y y cos y, then uh, you can easily make out uh, complete denominator is free from x and complete numerator is free from y. Therefore, you directly you take the cross multiplication, okay. What is that? Sin y plus y cos y, right, multiplied by it is dy is equal to x into 2 log x plus 1 multiplied by it is dx. So, this is the step. Uh, now, you can easily analyze, is it in the separated variable form or still it is to be rearranged. Now, here you have to observe any presence of x and any presence of y. Here it is completely free from y, it is completely free from x. So, now it is ready for integration of, uh, it is in the separated variable form. Now, we will write the integration, integrating we get that is integration sin y plus y cos y should be dy is equal to integration x into 2 log x plus 1 it is dx and plus constant because constant means arbitrary constant otherwise constant of integration you can think of. So, what is the step you are going to write now? That is product rule of the integration you need to apply because here product rule is completely required because the variables are appeared in the form of a product. What is the product there? One term y cos y is there and another term x into 2 log x is there. So, we will write that. Now, integration that is sin y, okay, it is separately written dy and plus 
integration y cos y it is dy okay and equal to that is integration 2 times x log x x log x and plus of that is x right like this you have to write and then dx plus of constant understand this uh, 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 the step it is written in the separated form separated form means individual term because this is not a product rule but this is a product rule this is a product rule but this is not a product rule okay what is the answer for the first one minus of cos y and this one so you know the product rule what is that u into v dx is equal to u into v1 minus u dash v2 plus of u double dash and v3 minus and so on. I hope uh, this is the generalized formula of integration by parts. What is that? Uh, you will define this as a first function and this as a second function. First into integral of second that means dashes are derivatives and bottom symbols are integrals first into integral of second that is v1 minus integral of differential of first is u dash and twice integration means v2 plus alternately plus minus will go ok. Now same thing happens here this is the algebraic term you have to treat this as first and this as second do not interchange if you take this as first function the formula is not going to be convergent because the answer you want to get means whatever the algebraic term you are going to select it should be completely vanished when successive differentiation process is applied. Therefore, this is the first function minus that means u and this is v according to that formula. So, this is uh, y minus of um, uh, sorry plus y first function integral of second function that is sin y sin y integration is minus cos y cos y integration is plus sin y minus integral of differential of first function this is u dash the value is y with respect to y is 1 then twice integration of this that is minus of cos becomes sin sin becomes minus of cos y this is the end of it. Now this is equal to 2 times here also this is u and this is v you have to apply in this fashion. Now, what is the value? <coughs> first into integral of second minus integral of differential of first that is 2 into x integration that is first function u integral of second function that means log x that is x log x uh, x log x minus 1 ok log x integration is x log x minus 1 that is already you studied from the basics and uh, minus minus this 2 is to be made a carry forward and differentiation of x is 1 and log x uh, twice integration sorry uh, this is log x is to be removed therefore here you have to take it as u this is v because this is a repeating function so we should not allow. So what is that we have to write first function first function log x and integration of second is x square by 2 minus integral of differential of first function that is uh, 1 by x and twice integration of this one x becomes x square and x cube by 3 ok verify that this is along with 2 first function that is uh, log x integration of second x square by 2 minus integral of differential of first function log x is uh, log x is 1 by x ok and twice integration of this once integration of this is this much into 2 earlier 2 is there ok. So, that is the end of it because log x we have removed now plus of this x x square by 2 plus constant. So, this is completely your answer but uh, you can remove minus sign cos y and plus of y sin y minus into minus plus it is cos y is equal to 
this 2 cancels and this 2 cancels and this x cancels and uh, here x square okay log x and what else here uh, x with x cube means minus of x square by 3 plus x square by 2 plus constant this is the final solution. So, this is how the method of separation of variables we are going to apply. So, I shall uh, give 2-3 examples for your practice, some selected 2-3 uh, examples for your practice. You can note down these uh, problems and you can try on your own exactly of the same type what we solved. I, I shall write those examples. Solve ODEs, ordinary differential equations. <coughs> that is x plus y plus 2 it is whole to the power 3 okay and that is equal to dy by dx this is one sample next problem dy by dx is equal to e to the power 2x minus 3y plus 4x square into e to the power minus 3y. Here base is same, powers can be separated. Afterwards, this can be taken as LCM and then easily you can transfer to the other side. Then directly you can go for integration. Now, xy dy by dx is equal to 1 plus x plus y plus x y. I will give the hints for all these three problems. This is already done as pre earlier to this problem and this is anyway you have to separate this and bring it to the denominator. But here in this problem what you have to do is <coughs> uh, one hint I will give for the RHS. RHS you have to take like this uh, that is equal to 1 plus x in one group and here y is common into 1 plus x, correct? Huh? Then after this what you have to do? That is a product, right side it appears as a product x y it is dy by dx is equal to 1 plus x uh, into 1 plus y because 1 plus x is a common factor 1 plus y. So, now it is very convenient or now it is very comfortable where you can separate the variables. So, separate the variables at that stage is not possible, but here it is possible because this is a product and this is a product. Uh, in the case of separation of variables, every time we expect the product of the terms, that to what kind of terms? Different types of variables. Here this is x is one variable and y is another variable. Easily we can separate and make it as application of separation of variables. Okay. So, what is that now? This is uh, x is there. I will take that uh, x y right dy is equal to 1 plus x into 1 plus y. This is equal to dx. What I did here? Cross multiplication. This dx I shifted to the other side. Now, dx means this term is extra. We do not want here. This should be here as a coefficient. And here for dy, this term is extra, we do not want this term. So, dividing throughout by, we do not want x here and we do not want 1 plus y here. Therefore, by that product you divide. This step gives y, this step gives y divided by 1 plus y, okay. And then it is dy equal to 1 plus x divided by x, it is dx. I hope now that is the most convenient part uh, uh, where you can write immediately the value of the integration. Am I correct? Because it is in the separated form. These coefficients are in terms of y and these coefficients are in terms of x. But second term, second term you, you have to take uh, this is 1 plus x is there, you can separate it. Whereas in the first term, uh, this is called this is called uh, uh, same degree that means in numerator as well as in denominator. 
So, you have the same degree, it is called what kind of fraction? When degree is same, it is called improper fraction, right? It is called improper fraction, this is also improper fraction, but here we can do that like this way, here y is there, I can write it as in another form y plus 1 minus 1 divided by 1 plus y is there. This is dy is equal to 1 by x and plus of x by x. You can separate like this. These are all your repeating problems for your exam. You can practice all these problems at least once on your own by reading these uh, steps and then you can go for the solution. What is this? Here uh, y plus 1 divided by 1 plus y you can cancel. Finally, what you are getting? that is y plus 1 divided by y plus 1 minus okay, 1 divided by 1 plus y, right? It is dy is equal to <coughs> here I can cancel this x. Then inside the square bracket 1 by x plus 1 it is dx. Hope uh, now, it is easy to understand uh, after cancelling this, easy to understand here, this is not a improper fraction. This is a proper fraction and this is also proper fraction, but as it is, because degree is 1 and degree is 1, degree is 1 here and degree is 1. You cannot go for directly the integration when it is in the form of improper. You have to reduce it to the proper fraction, then you have to go for either integration or the differentiation because for any uh, improper fraction you cannot apply the uh, meaning of uh, differentiation and uh, integration because both are to be operated when once you convert that improper into the proper format. Now what is the answer then? That is 1 minus 1 by 1 plus y it is dy equal to 1 by x and plus 1 and it is multiplied by dx. So, now, now my job is to only integrate that means to write the solution. Now, I will write in another word it is a solution. What is the solution? This will be integration symbol, this will be integration symbol and this is with plus sign plus constant, constant of integration. What is this here? y and this is minus of log 1 plus y log of 1 plus y, <coughs> log of 1 plus y is equal to log x and plus x okay, and plus of constant. So, this is the value where we can understand the concept of uh, separating the variables and then writing the solution with various types of initial condition and various types of functions which are appeared. Uh, uh, either all the functions appear in the left side or all the functions appear in the right side. So, I would like to stop up to uh, this method that is separation of variables. In my next lecture, I will discuss the homogeneous that is the most important part, but with this support only that next method we have to discuss. If you have understood this, I am sure that you will find comfortable to go for the next uh, method because for all forthcoming methods are depending on this basic method. This is the most fundamental method. Thank you.